Hi everyone, welcome to first of a series of snare drum reviews. Uh, today I'm going to look at the oldest snare drum I have in my collection. This is a, a vintage Slingeland Cobb, C-O-B, which actually stands for chrome over brass. Um, I think they call it the Buddy Rich model, I think, from memory. Uh, it's early it's 60s from what I remember. Beautiful uh, drum. And Slingland, one of my favorite brands. I only wish they still made Slingland. Even though, even though uh, the Slingland uh, brand is like finished, it's not being made anymore. There's a company in Chicago called, called Chicago Drum and Restoration. And I believe the guys that own that company used to work for Slingeland and they are producing drum kits and snare drums. And supposedly they're building them just like the 1960 model Slingelands. I actually have two of their snare drums, which I will be doing reviews on a bit later down the track. But as I said, I thought I'd start with my oldest snare drum and um, play that one for you to give you a little bit of an idea what it sounds like. Uh, this is a, a 5 inch, 14 by 5 inch, or 5 and a half. Yeah, I think it's a 5. Um, the head on top is a little bit old. I've got an ambassador coated on top. Very standard, normal, and uh, normal, you know, Remo Hazy snare bottom head. This drum sounds really good with brushes. Um, I've used it in, like, jazz bands and... Dixieland style drumming. I've used it um, in like blue shuffle bands. It's uh, it's a really nice sounding snare drum. It's quite loud being brass, but it's just got this like grittiness to it that I really love. dampen it down a little bit. So, there you have it. Great killer snare drum. I have it tuned about medium. It sounds really good, really low, as well as really high tuning. I won't bother about changing the tuning today, but it uh, gives you a bit of an idea what the snare drum sounds like. They are still reasonably easy to obtain, even though they're an old vintage Slingerland. I got this one from a guy in Australia. I live in Australia. I'm in Brisbane. I think I bought it from a guy, I think he was in Sydney from memory. Um, so there are a few around in Australia, but you can always buy one on Reverb over in the States, get it shipped over. So they're not hard to find. Um, I forget what I paid for this. I think it was about 700 bucks or something. I can't really remember. But, you know, if you like this sort of sounding snare drum, 
it's uh, probably well worth um, chasing one up. I'll just play a, just a little bit of brush on it. See what before I stop this video. Oh, these are two totally different brushes, but anyway, uh, you'll get over it. <laughs> so there you have it. Um, if you uh, liked this little look at this vintage uh, Slingland snare drum, well, by all means, um, tell your drum friends. Or if you know someone that was thinking of buying an old Slingland and they're not sure what they sound like, well, you know, send a link to this uh, little video to them and they might actually um, might help them to make a decision. All good. Anyway, have a great day, people. Um, keep drumming, hey? Bye.